Hello everyone and welcome to the Magic Miscast. We're going to take a look at some decks. Our first deck is in the arena format, Historic. And we call it Historic Copy Copy. It involves the cards Neoform, Seagate Stormcaller, and the Dual Caster Mage. We're basically copying this Dual Caster Mage to copy Neoform, to keep copying, and we copy, 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 until we have a whole army of Dual Caster Mages. Well, there's only three of them in the deck, but we also use Glass Pool Mimic and Mirror Image to keep the copies going. We get a whole army of these Dual Caster Mages, which we then attack the opponent with. If we can't use Seagate Stormcaller, we can always copy Neoform with Expansion from the Expansion Explosion card. We get out a Combat Celebrant and a Tuck Tuck Rumble Fort at the end. So we can exert, have two attack phases, and we have haste for all of our creatures. We use the Elvish Visionary in the Wall of Blossoms as our sacrifice fodder for Neoform. These two cards have a converted mana cost of two, and Neoform uses them as sacrifice fodder to go get a CMC 3 card, which is our dual caster mage. And it comes in with a plus one one counter on it. We also use things like Opt, and we can use Explosion to ex explode ourselves if we need some card draw. And we have Fire Prophecy and Cinderclasm as some burn. Fire Prophecy is nice because if we get a card in our opening hand that we don't want, we can put it back into the library. Sideboarding, Pact of Negation, that's nice. Or Negate, maybe some Shocks. We can also use the Fey of Wishes and look for maybe a Torment's Crid or uh, Clear the Mind if we need to do that. We went into an historic event. We went 7-0. It's pretty good. We actually went on a run where we were at 13 and 0 before we finally lost a game. Now, of course, this deck doesn't always win. You can get mana screwed or mana swamped or just not draw the right cards. But often you can mulligan down to maybe even three cards and still pull off a win. Let's see how it goes in some of these examples. All right, our opening hand. Well, we have a Seagate Stormcaller, Expansion, and some Burn. We can fire Prophecy our Glass Pool Mimic back into our library if we need to. Opt, okay, that's all right. Opt is all right. Okay, let's put out the Ketra now because it's a tap land. Okay, uh, Opt. And we got lots of lands, so I don't think we need it. Ooh, our rubble fort. We're going to have to put that one back into the library. Okay, we got some mill problems here. Mills and counters. Uh, yeah, okay, let's burn somebody. Let's burn out the this guy. All right. Take them out. I don't know which one to take. Uh, this guy is going to cause us problems. Well, there's our first counter. So we're up against the wall here. We have to get them to use up some counters or I don't think they're going to tap out on us now. They can do a lot of stuff on our turn. Okay, let's just put a land in and wait. Okay, another dual caster mage in our hand. Okay, the rubble fort goes into play. Makes things hasty, but we don't have uh, creatures to attack. Goodness me, we can block with our rubble fort because he does have reach. I let that one go. That was a magical miscast, I guess. I should have blocked. OK, 
Okay. Putting in our Seagate Storm Collar. No counter. Wow, I got away with it. Neoform. If it got countered, I could just use my expansion on it. No, I couldn't. Uh, yeah, I guess I could while it was still on the stack. I could have done that. Brazen Borrower, it doesn't matter. Let's see, if we just put the expansion in, we can just see what, what the heck happens. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. If we copy the Neoform, it's overkill. We've already, the Seagate Stormcaller has already done its job. If they uh, remove it in some way, that's, that's okay. We're still getting out our army of dual caster mages. They have one mana up. Uh, they could unsummon the rubble fort, I suppose. So nothing would have haste. Uh, we got nothing else. Nothing is happening. So we attack and we win. All right, our opening hand looks pretty good. We got a Neoform, a Seagate Stormcaller, an expansion in there just for good measure. Four lands, we should be able to pull off a win pretty quick. Okay, we got an Explorer. Oh, we're gonna get milled, but that's not too bad as long as we don't lose some of our key deck components like the Dual Caster Mages and the Mirror Images and the Glass Pool Mimics. We get out some nice sacrifice fodder, the Elvish Visionary there, and we draw another Neoform. Wow, we are flooding with Neoforms. Getting milled, but on our next turn, we should be able to pull this off. Let's put in a forest. They have two islands open, so it's possible they could counter. Oh, no counter. And look at that. No counters. So we're going to make our army of dual caster ages. And the opponent packs it up. All right, in this game, let's look at our opening hand. Well, we don't really want that combat celebrant already, but we do have a visionary and the neoform. Maybe we'll get a fire prophecy and we'll be able to put combat celebrant back into our deck. Bag of Holding. That's interesting. You don't see a lot of Bag of Holding. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, Dual Caster Mage. We don't really want that in our hand either, right at this point in time. But we still have two more in our deck. Oh, there's our Seagate Stormcaller, so it looks like we're going to be able to fire off our combo here. Guardian Idol. They're tapped out. Looks like we got it. Will be another pretty quick win here. Although we don't have our combat celebrant, so we're going to have to attack without exert. But they don't have any creatures up, so it looks like we're just going to march right on through and destroy them. They're letting us play out our copy copy here. Maybe they haven't seen this before. They're wondering how we're going to win. None of these have haste until now. Now they all have haste. And away we go. All right, now what do we have? Oh, well, look at this. Seagate Stormcaller and Neoform in our opening hand. Fire Prophecy, we can use that to put our dual caster mage back in our deck. We need some lands, but we have an opt. Got lots of nice burn. Cinderclasm, but there don't seem to be any creatures coming down. Oh, 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 that's a killer. Gonna get rid of our... Oh, yeah, well, it's okay. No, we got two Seagate Stormcallers. And our Neoform is still there, so it looks like his Thought Seize did not do the trick. We'll put out a Dual Caster Mage just for the fun of it. Oh, there we go. 
We got our fourth land, but we can't play anything because we don't have an island or a mountain basic land in play. Opponent takes two from the mage. Is thinking. Oh, no, doesn't play anything. Must have a counter, possibly. Oh, there we got an expansion explosion. So if we get countered on the Seagate Stormcaller, we can maybe get Neoform through with expansion. Okay, Ascanta, that's nice. We'll bring that in and we'll see if we can fire it off. Oh, it went through. Sack it. And it, the Neoform's gone through, and we'll get our two more mages. And now we'll start using our Glass Pool Mimics. And our Mirror Images. Takes a moment to get all these guys out on the battlefield. The opponent has two mana. Up. Can they bounce something and survive another turn? There we've got the whole army there. We exert our con oh he's he's given up before we even exert. Alright, what do we got now? Well that's not too good. A couple of ops. So we mulligan that. Uh, still not exactly what I want. Let's mulligan again. Okay, we got the two we need. We can keep five. Put mirror image back in the, the deck. Oh, we got two Steam Seagate Stormcallers. So we're left with our combo in our hand. We now have three lands. And some burn if we need it. Oh, there's a fourth land because the Glass Pool Mimic can be used as a land. So it looks like we're going to fire off on turn four. I don't think they'll have enough on the board to do much. Oh, we got another Neoform. Looks like our next turn will be in good shape. Helm of the Host. Won't get to use it, mister. Here we go. He's tapped out. Game is over. Get your dual caster mages first. Oh, he's packing it up as well. Okay. Hmm. Opening hand. Don't like it. That's mulligan. Uh, I don't like that one either. Oh, goodness me. We're mulligan, mulligan. Okay, we got a neoform at least. And a Fire Prophecy, mm, get rid of another land. Okay, we're going to start with four cards in our hand. Oh my goodness me. Oh, it's Life Gain. Oh, four cards in our hand and we're playing against Life Gain. Ooh, Jenny. Oh my goodness me. Okay, we're getting some lands out. Let's burn that out of there. Put that guy back in our deck. Oh, we got another Fire Prophecy. That's pretty lucky top decking. Okay, let's... Hope we get something good. Oh, no, we don't want the mirror image, but we can put it back into our hand, into our deck with uh, Fire Prophecy. Let's get rid of one of these life gaining, crazy, ramping characters. Oh, Elvish Visionary. Okay, we can draw a card off of that. Oh, that's a lovely card. I expect to see a Soul Warden come in after that one. Okay, we, we visionaried and got another land. So we are going to take a hit here. Ooh. Okay, well, we're still okay. We can go down to one life and still pull this off. If he doesn't have anything to counter or, or remove our characters or if he's playing prison, hopefully we can get by. Oh, there's the Soul Warden. Kind of felt it was coming. If I get rid of it, it'll just come right back onto the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, it comes right back. Ooh, okay. So I lost my visionary. That was, uh, that's why my 
video is called Magic Miscasts. That was a little bit of a misplay. Oh, Heliod Suncrown. Now there is going to be life galore. He's already at 30 and I'm at 3. There's a visionary. What do we get? Come on, come on. We can do it. Top deck something. Okay, he's going to put his counters on. Put on your counters, dude. Come on. Put on your counters. We want to see what card we're going to get. Keep us in suspense. And look at we got it. Oh my gosh, we got it with three life. Are we going to be able to pull this off? We're going to bring cards into play. He's going to get a lot of life. Will we have enough to take him down with a exerted attack? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go for it. Goodbye, Visionary. Here we go. We put them all into play. Here comes the dual casters first. I'm trying to add this up in my mind. We're going to have an attack of maybe 21 damage each turn. So we can let the guy go up to 40 or so. Every time our character... Every time our card comes into play, every time our creature comes into play, he gets that plus one, plus one, and life gain. Okay, he's 38. We still have like seven, eight cards to go. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be close. He has a 5-5 a five, five blocker to take out somebody each time. 42 life. We have three cards to go. I th think we're going to make it. I'm adding up. I'm adding threes here. Our dual caster mages are all threes. We got that Seagate Stonecaller at two. We're going to lose the Celebrant at five. That's Exert and Attack. He's going to block the Celebrant. I'm pretty sure. Okay, what's he down to? Oh, we got him! He's down to 10! Oh! Oh, we beat life gain and over 40 life, and we had three remaining. That is amazing. Lucky top deck. Okay, what do we got now? Oh. Well, we got two of the mages in our hand. That's not great, but we got our Stormcaller and our Neuroform combo. Oh, this is going to be a quick one. He's going to hit us down with uh, some hasty, goblin-y kind of guys. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Good. We needed that land. We have our four lands now. We can maybe burn someone out and put our dual caster mage back in our library. Who will we pick? I don't know. Let's just pick this guy. Bye-bye. Okay, put the dual caster back in there. Okay, we got our we got everything we need. And he's only got us down to 12, so it looks like we're going to be okay. Oh, we can even Cinder class him if we want. But why do that? He has no mana available. We'll just do our combo. Is he going to let us run out our combo? I guess so. Come on, man. Scoop him up. I'm not going to scoop. He's got three cards in hand, but he's got no open mana. His creatures are tapped. There we go. Thank you for scooping. All right. What's in our opening hand here? Ooh, we got... A combat celebrant and a dual caster mage there. Neoform's nice, but those red cards, they gotta go. Mirror image, yeah, it should go to. Mulligan, ooh, not good. Fire prophecy's nice there. Oh, this is a bit better. We can put Tuck Tuck back in. Mirror image goes back in. And we have a Visionary and our Neoform. We just need an expansion or our Seagate Stormcaller. Oh, Neoform again. Uh, Robber the Rich. 
We do have less cards. Uh, it's a bit of a miscast too, I a misplay. Well, we can burn them out. Uh, sure, put the new form back. Oh, another fire prophecy in case we see another robber. Oh, another robber. How about that? Okay, let's get rid of him. And another Neoform gone. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't thin out our deck though. Okay. We have a Cinder Clasm. Oh, oh, I guess he had nothing. He just scooped him up. Gave up. Alright, now we got a Seagate Stormcaller and Neoform. We got a Wall of Blossoms, that's fantastic. And a Fire Prophecy to boot. Two lands, let's go. We just need a few more lands. Oh, the Glass Pool Mimic is good because it is a land. As well. Oh, expansion there. We got uh, two ways. Of doing our combo and we can do the expansion neoform combo here got a lot of flyers let's burn some of them out mm, oh two seagate storm collars now we'll put that glass pool mimic in I suppose but it, it's a land that comes in tapped but while we're waiting we can burn somebody out Goodbye, life gaining healer's hawk. Our next turn looks good. We have to watch out for counter spells. He scries to the top. Okay, let's give it a go because we got two of those now. Oh, it goes through. Okay, Neoform, do your thing. And it is not countered. All right. Here comes our army of dual caster mages. Three mana open for the opponent. Can he bounce us? Can he unsummon somebody like Tuk Tuk? And he. What can he do? He's waiting for us to play out our cards. Waiting, thinking, nothing. Exert, combat, celebrant. And nothing is happening, and we attack and win. Okay. Three mana open, nothing to do. In this hand, we have a Neoform. We don't really want the dual caster mage. Cinderclasm is okay. Oh, expansion. Expansion Neoform combo here. Okay, let's keep that. Out comes our Triome. Opponent is scrying to the top. Let's put out our hinterland. Ketra is a mountain forest island, so hinterland harbor comes in untapped. We don't have anything to play though. Oh, this will come in untapped as well. Root bound crag. We have enough land now on our next turn to set off our combo. He has no mana available. We can put it in. Uh, I can do it. No, I can't do it because I don't have the right combination of mana. Oh, I put in the wrong card. Okay, magic miscast. Let's just put up the dual caster mage for now. Next turn, we'll put in the Sulphur Falls, and we should be good to go. Okay. How bloodthirsty are you, Miss Aerialist? Okay. Oh, murder! My character was murdered. Ooh. In for two. 
Okay, now, oh, we got a Seagate Stormcaller. We can do it that way. All right. He's tapped out. Game over. Let me see. He wants to see what we're doing. He's letting us run out the combo, it looks like. I think he could have guessed because we played an early dual caster mage. He's probably figured it out by now. I think he has because he has really slowed down here. His timer fuse is burning down. Let's give him some prompts. The game is over. Bark my three-headed dog. Maybe that'll annoy him. Oh, tick tock, tick tock. There goes the timer fuse again. Okay, let's continue. Is he really going to let us put out the army and attack? He wants us to just quit. All right, we attack. Don't forget to exert your combat celebrant. Don't really need to in many games, but you know, when you don't do something, it comes back to bite you. Well, not too good. Now we have a Seagate Stormcaller and an Opt. We could go with that. Put the mirror image back inside the library. We'll just try for something else. Okay. This one's maybe a little bit better. Get rid of one of those triomes. We have a Seagate Stormcaller and an expansion and a Blossom. We just need Neoform. Let's hold out. Ooh, the Rubble Fort. I think we're going to have to put that into play. Okay, we'll draw a card off of a mirror image of Wall of Blossoms. A land. Okay. Hmm, another expansion, explosion. In goes Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort. I have no attacking power. Opt. What does Opt do? No, we don't want the dual caster mage yet. Shock? Well, we could use a shock. Although there's no creatures yet. Maybe we'll see a flyer. Opponent is thinking and doing nothing yet. Oh, okay, visionary, we can draw a card. And another storm caller. Okay, the tuck tuck rubble fort makes the visionary hasty, so we can at least attack for one. You know, one life, you never know. How many games have you lost by just one life? One life short on the opponent. Field of Ruin, that's okay. We just get back what we need. Field of Ruin doesn't really hurt us too much. We have basics in our deck that we can get. So it's not like we can't replace it with whatever basic we might require. Opponent is still thinking, not getting the cards they want, I suppose. Either are we. Well, we're just looking for one Neoform. That's all we're looking for. We'll, we'll hit him for one again. 18 to 20. Moving right along here, aren't we? We need Neoform. Maybe he's got a handful of counters. He's just waiting for the... The right spell to counter. Nothing really is hurting him right now. Field of Ruin, that's okay. We'll just put in a mountain. It's fine. We can still play our shock. Can't do uh, explosion. We might like to explode ourselves to draw a card or two. We need two red mana for that. And Oh, 
Oh, I could have put red mana there. That's another magical miscast. Oh, I should have put in the red mana. Then I would have been able to explode myself for two cards. No, I can't do it. No, see, I, uh, I can't do it. Even if I do, I can't do it because I only have one red mana source. That's a magic miscast. Well, that's what I do. I make mistakes. I do them quite frequently. I think we all make mistakes from time to time. Okay, I'm still looking at two expansion explosions, two storm callers, and a shock. If I could always storm caller and then double shock my opponent, or I could get really fancy and storm call, shock, expansion, shock it, uh, get maybe get in there with a lot of shocks. Ooh, Supreme Will. He's digging for something. He got a land. He can make humans. There's the Neoform. Now, is he going to counter? Well, if he does, I can still do Neoform expansion or try another Stormcaller with Neoform. The card he has to negate is the Neoform. Here we go, Neoform. What's going to happen, Sack? And no, nothing. He didn't even have a counter for it. What is he playing? Maybe he's playing lands. Maybe he just wanted to attack with humans and pump them up. Uh, maybe he's got a lot of auras in his hand. He's got nothing to attach them to. Got a lot of mana there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is he gonna bounce me? I attack. Oh, he's thinking. He's go. Oh, oh. Time refuse. Thinking. Seal away. Oh, he's gonna take away the. Oh, he didn't pick anything. Oh, he's got another one. Cast out. Okay, he's going to cast out my hasty making rubble fort. I can't attack. Well, I can attack with my visionary still. Okay, next turn is my attack. What do you got? Are you going to bounce everybody? Can you bounce everybody? Are you going to bounce everybody? Thinking, okay, an intervention, digging, digging, two cards, nothing. Okay, that opening hand, I don't like it. Two mages. Two image cards. I do have the storm caller, but uh, it's four cards I'd rather have in my library. Didn't like that one. Okay, we'll keep five. We'll put the dual caster back in, and opt is good to keep here. We have three lands. Let's put a land back in. We'll probably find another land and we still have to get a seagate storm caller or a expansion explosion card to win okay we'll just uh, put that in and opt right away oh put the mage back in we have a mimic we can use the mimic on the visionary if we need to search for another card Okay, what do we have? Merfolk Wind Robber. Ooh, he's go oh, he's going to mill me. Okay, I'm on a clock here, because if he mills too many of my dual caster mages or my mirroring cards, I will not have a chance. Mill and counters is the most difficult deck that I've encountered so far. Let's uh, 
copy the vision area. Oh, didn't save, please. Okay, well, actually, uh, okay, yeah, I guess I didn't save, please. Okay. Uh oh, we're, we're going down. So far, our library. Oh, there's a Seagate Stormcaller. We just lost one. Okay, opt again. No, don't need lands. Okay, we'll put in our uh, Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort because we do need that in there. We need haste. He doesn't have removal or bounce. Then I spark double. Oh, that's a nice card. I'm trying to figure out how to use spark double in decks myself. Okay. Uh, oh, I could have blocked with my rubble fort. He has reach. I forgot about that. That's another magic miscast. Okay, we're going to copy. We're going to copy again. There we go. Thank you. Combat Celebrant. Ooh, that's another one we don't really want right now. We're going to have to put it into play or... Ooh, another Spark Double. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage here. Remember to block with the Rubble Fort this time. Good job. Ooh, another Seagate Stormcaller hits the bin. Oh, boy. Okay, that's Cinderclasm. Brow. Okay. Great sound effects on this magic arena, eh? Okay. Mm-hmm. Gives us a bit more time. We have two storm callers left in our deck. Oh, we're looking for expansion as well. We have two of those remaining in our deck. Okay, we've got out the Celebrant, we've got Haste, they have a blocker, the Celebrant will kill the blocker, no, nope. he lets it through, oh, we just got milled for eight more cards and I didn't see which ones went out, okay. Ooh, dual caster mage comes in. That's all right. We can do another attack. We have two neoforms, but that doesn't do us any good without an expansion or a storm caller. And he still has six mana up. He needs an attacking creature. Oh, we're gonna have to. Oh, that's not good. We've lost all our Seagate storm callers. We're just in attack mode. Now he has to block to give himself a little extra time. Another Neoform. Well, we could Neoform and shock. Oh, he scoops it up. That was surprising. Okay. Wow, four mirror cards. Mulligan that. Stormcaller Neoform, expansion Neoform, and a shock. We got uh, four turns to get two more lands. Well, that's one more land. Excellent. We'll put that in. Save our shock. Oh, visionary now. Okay. Visionary, save our shock. Oh, essence scatter. Okay, we're up against... Uh, counter spells. Now, if he countered Visionary, which really isn't that much of a threat, he must have a handful of counters. We'll try it again. See if, see if he lets it through. No, he doesn't let it through. And we mill three more cards. Mill and counter. Whew, wow. Okay. Well, we could fire off here, but he's got four mana available. On my turn, okay, okay, now we've got two ways of doing it. We can Neoform Expansion or Stormcaller Neoform. So we have ways to get around his counter spells. 
put in the wall the blossoms draw a card okay now we have two storm collars two neoforms an expansion he's going to frantic his inventory for one there we go put it in let's try to see if we can get through a storm collar no didn't say please that's okay we still have two more shots Hmm. Okay. We can thought collapse. Well, we tried to do neoform expansion, and we got nothing. But you know what? We expansion the neoform before the counter resolves. And look at that! Here we go. Just make sure we click the right thing here to copy. We're copying the neoforms with our mages. It looks good. Any more mages? No, I guess he's milled the other mage. Let's put in the mirrors. He's still got, what, five mana open? Uh, counter spells won't work now, but bounce spells will work very well now. As I said, we have been, we have had an army in play and then had it bounced. Uh, won't be Wrath of God, because that, that wouldn't be good, but he has no white mana sources. Um... Oh, I don't have a Tuck Tuck. Oh, River's Rebuke. Oh, my goodness me. Everybody comes back to my hand. Ouch. Ooh. This is why in a traditional game, we would sideboard in something like Pact of Negation. We can still pay its cost on our next upkeep if we had to, but paying zero to counter a counter spell or to counter a bounce spell like that would allow us to survive to the next turn, pay off the upkeep on the Pact of Negation, or just a negate, I guess, would be fine. Having a negate available in the sideboard Um, I'm kind of experimenting with putting Fay of Wishes. Discontinuity! Oh! Okay. He's got... Okay, he's going to frantic again for two, I believe. I'm going to use my opt. Yeah, he got two more. Oh, oh he's going to overwhelm me with his whelming wave and put my two combat celebrants back in my hand. Okay, out it comes again. Oh no, it gets countered. He's got one card, one mana. Seagate Stormcaller. I don't have anything to do with it. Okay, we'll just do some double shocks. I was just going to say, you know, having Fay of Wishes in the deck is nice because then maybe you can go and search for a Pact of Negation or some Negate or depending on who you're playing against. Tormod's Crypt is nice. Um, maybe some more burn. Uh, in a mill deck, go get a clear the mind. Put your cards back in your in your library. Let's try this again. I feel like we're on a losing cause here. Counter spells and milling is very difficult for this deck. I guess it's difficult for a lot of decks. You lose your combo pieces and then he throws everything. Oh boy, oh boy, I just got milled for eight. Then he throws all your uh, creatures back into your hand. Okay, I'm getting an army of sto sea gate storm callers. And uh, I shock as well. Double shock because I can Shouldn't I have had more than that? Hmm, I think I should have had more shock damage. But anyways, maybe I played it wrong. 
Oh, emailed me again. Oh, there's another overwhelming wave, and I'm gonna have to call it quits on that. Thanks for watching. Watch for more Magic Mistcast YouTube videos in the future.